Hi everybody, Tara here. We're doing the apple cider vinegar and bacon soda treatment live. And we have Raina here, my sick friend, who will be helping me out today. So Raina is suffering from a little hangover and we're gonna take care of that problem real quick. So here we have um, a bullet of apple cider vinegar and we have a bullet of bacon soda. If you wanna catch just how much is in there. It's about a tablespoon or so of bacon soda and this is probably about two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar in here. So I have about eight ounces of water, about a cup of water here. We're just gonna pour apple cider vinegar into that one. Pour our bacon soda in there it up. So the baking soda and apple cider vinegar is going to balance the pH in her stomach and that's going to get her feeling all better. So if we can get her pH to a 7, that's going to neutralize any issues that she's having. It's also a detox. It's going to purge your body of anything that is not supposed to be in your body. So if you've been drinking, it's going to get rid of any leftover alcohol. If you're sick, um, any type of pathogens, this is gonna destroy it. So start off by drinking the baking soda water really quickly, quickly as you can. You don't wanna like take too much time doing it because it's not that tasty. It almost kind of tastes like fish water. I don't know. But it's not that bad because you know, um, if you take alka seltzer, uh, baking soda is the main ingredient. So it tastes fairly similar to alka seltzer without the aftertaste. Okay, so then she's gonna immediately follow that up with the apple cider vinegar water. So this is gonna cause a chemical reaction um, inside of her body. When you mix apple cider vinegar, or when you mix vinegar and baking soda together, um, it actually breaks down the bonds, um, it releases um, with the oxygen atoms, and it becomes a detergent. You can actually use this to clean your clothes too. That's And she didn't actually even finish all of the, the baking soda water, which is fine. It's like, you don't have to follow it to the T, but this is just a general um, overview of like how you would do it. Tasty. But it's better than, you know, Pepto Bismol or something. I mean, she won't have an aftertaste with this. And it's actually gonna help the problem and help a lot of different problems instead of just covering up the symptoms. So in a second, we're gonna see if Raina is gonna be feeling any better from this little treatment. So another thing I wanna caution you of is it may make you um, vomit or you may have to go number two. Either way, it's getting rid of everything in your stomach that's not supposed to be there and everything in your body that's not supposed to be there. Even if you have like mucus in your body, which most sickness comes from mucus, some type of mucus build up somewhere in your body, that's gonna take care of that. It's also, um, besides being a detox, it will eat up fat, excess fat too. So that's so thank you for joining us with this quick little video. We're going to check back really soon to see how we're going to feel a little bit later. Thank you. So Raina and I are back and um, we want to check on Raina's status after doing the apple cider vinegar bacon soda treatment. So Raina, why don't you tell us how you are feeling now? I feel a lot better now. Okay. I'm going to be 100% honest. I pretty much purged it all out. Um, like, like water. <laughs> so basically, earlier in the video, I told you that you may vomit or you may have to go number two. So basically, she it has it has purged out of her body completely, and um, it is no more. So Raina is feeling a lot better. So when when did you when you actually took it? Um, did you feel any type of gassiness or bubbling or anything? No, I wasn't. That's what I thought was going to happen. I thought it was just going to bubble up and just start going out anyway. But no, it actually, I, I felt normal. But I did want it to like, break the rest of the So, um, when you, when you took it, how, how bad was it? Was it taste really bad? Or, um, how did it taste? Well, the baking soda, it was just salty. But I mean, it's, it was a, uh, to where I couldn't drink it. And then the apple cider vinegar, was, I'm used to the taste of it. Okay. So not bad. Yes. Not bad. That's good. So I kind of want to tell you a few things that you can use this apple cider vinegar and baking soda water treatment for. Um, 
you can, I mean, it will lower your cholesterol, it burns fat, um, it regulates your thyroid, um, it's good for acid reflux or indigestion. Um, if you're experiencing any gas or bloating, um, it's an anti-inflammatory. It's also antifungal and antibacterial. Um, it's a natural uh, pain reliever. Um, so, like, if you have, even if you have like a cut on your hand or something, you can put some baking soda on there, and it'll naturally uh, relieve that pain. And also in your body too, it relieves pain. Um, it's also a natural whitening agent. Um, you can use apple cider vinegar and baking soda, or just distilled vinegar and baking soda to make a face wash um, for acne. That is awesome. It leaves your face so yeah. rejuvenated I and refreshed. Actually, use that. Yeah. Put water and make a mask. Yep. Yes. Yep. It's perfect for the summer. Um, another one is good for if you have any type of scalp conditions, alopecia, or just anything wrong with your scalp. Your hair is not growing properly anymore. It's also great for viruses and infections like a cold or flu. Or like my other videos, if you're experiencing problems like HPV, warts, or cancer. It also helps with cancer because it's all about your pH balance. So um, thanks for joining us today. And thank you, Raina, for helping me out with this. And um, thank you. Me and my guinea pig. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. So y'all have a good one. Thanks.